Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. Today, I've got a new video where I want to just share my personal input for the top five requests that I have for Logic Pro X. And if you have some comments for things that you want added for Logic Pro X, leave a comment below, wink, make sure you get it in there so that uh, if the powers that be out there are watching, please, please help us here. So number one in my top five requests for Logic Pro X is why can't we move the mixer channels? Granted, I know we can go up here to the arrange window. If you move it up there, it will move it down here in the mixer. But when I'm you know, working in the mixing uh, environment, I do a lot of mixing and mastering, obviously. You know, I wanna be able to just move the faders around. Shouldn't be that hard to do. Really, Apple? Like, why has that not happened yet? You know, when I create uh, bus tracks or I, uh, you know, route things to auxes, it tends to just kind of stick the aux wherever it wants to. And then I've got to close the mixer, go up here and move the aux track around. It just isn't that convenient. And again, I don't think it should be that difficult to make that a possibility. Moving along here, number two in my list of top requested features for Logic Pro X is we got to improve this uh, audio IO switching. Uh, so if you switch the output device, if you go into the preferences, you know, right now I've got it on the UFX. What I like to do a lot of times is switch into my built-in output so I can just reference on like the speakers on my computer or on my laptop, or maybe I wanna route it to you know a Bluetooth device or whatever. Now, when we do this, what happens is it actually reloads everything in the background. So as far as I'm concerned, the plugins are getting reloaded. You know, everything is kind of uh, being loaded. Watch this, if I hit apply. So this is kind of a lengthy process for it to go through, change everything, reload everything. This is not the case for like Cubase C, it's reloading my contact instruments. Why is that happening? It doesn't do this in Cubase. Um, and it just, again, it's, it's a workflow killer when I'm just trying to very quickly switch into my uh, built-in output or my headphone output or whatever, just to reference. See, it took that long just to switch over. So definitely something that I feel like they could uh, improve and change. Give me about 20 seconds. I'll be back after this is switching my core audio device. Number three in my list of top five requests for Logic Pro X, this de-esser, the stock de-esser in Logic Pro X. Just never been a fan of it. The user interface is not user friendly. Uh, you've got the detector, the suppressor. You know, I know what these do, but it is just a tedious process to try to dial in a, a de-esser option that sounds good and works. And usually, you know, 99% of the time, I just reach for the Waves de-esser because it sounds tremendously better. And look at this, I got a threshold control, a frequency and a side chain, essentially, that's it. That's all I've got to do. So over here, we've got all this convoluted stuff that uh, again, just doesn't give you that great a result. So I would love to see a redesigned de-esser, better GUI, something very usable in the same sense as the Waves de-esser. Just give us something we can dial in a quick de-esser. Number four, top request for Logic Pro X drum machine designer in front of us. Need I say more? Thankfully, you can drag and drop your own samples in here, but once you do that, and then once you've loaded some of these kits in here, when you open up the mixer, you figure out how much of a mess this really is. So if we unfold this, they've got the processing and things going for all these across all these channels, and then this is all actually being run through another plugin, which is Ultrabeat. So it's like they built a plugin, to host all these sounds that are going on in another plugin that then all these sounds are being processed with the effects through the mixer. So it's just super convoluted. I don't know why they made this design decision, but granted the sounds in here, the library for Drum Machine Designer is very good. Uh, there's some cool stuff in here that uh, you're probably gonna wanna check out, but beyond the sounds, I'm hoping that they could just provide a really simple, sleek, easy to use, MPC style drum machine plugin where you can just load in your samples into the cells. You have some good effects. You've got uh, flexible routing options. You know, just give us a multi output and we can control things in the mixer the same way, but we don't have to have, you know, all this crazy stuff going on to uh, process all the sounds there. So hoping for some improved drum machine plugins in the future. 
All right, so number five on my list of top five requests for Logic Pro X is better mastering plugins. So the first would be, you know, some kind of good tape saturation plugin. Now they did give us a, uh, a new plugin that's really nice in the, uh, the fat effects. This is based on the Camel Crusher and some of the other uh, things with Camel Audio. And we do have a soft saturation. We've got a tube option for the distortion. So you can use that very subtly and that is uh, quite a nice thing. However, I would love a dedicated tape machine or tape saturation, something very subtle that we could use on the stereo bus to uh, give us a little bit more warmth, something just to, uh, to touch up on and also that we could use in our uh, individual channels. So you've seen me use some tricks to get tape saturation out of the compressors as well as the delay the tape delay, uh, but just give us a dedicated saturation plugin. That would be really nice. I think we'd all love to see a really nice maximizer or brick wall limiter it's included stock with Logic Pro X. Obviously I use Ozone 8 as well as Waves. A lot of times, you know, this may be too much to ask because these are, you know, dedicated plugins for this, but uh, I just feel like the included options with Logic being like the adaptive limiter which it's not bad, but it certainly is not the best sounding limiter. It does have true peak detection, which I appreciate, but uh, again, it just doesn't have the transparency that I've come to expect from Ozone. So would love a, a really good brick wall limiter plugin, maybe a subtle mastering compressor or something like that. But, uh, and you know, maybe coupling all this stuff into one mastering plugin, a stock plugin that comes with Logic would work. But uh, again, would just love more options. I master in Logic quite often, but I'm using, you know, pretty much all third party plugins to do that. So it would be nice to have some stock options. All right, one more I'm gonna throw in just as a bonus. You know, I like the look of Logic Pro X. I think over the years, it has definitely become a better looking uh, GUI, a better looking DAW. However, I would love just some customization options in here to be able to change colors more, you know, right now, pretty much the only thing we can do is change like the darkness of the piano roll. So if we go over here, you know, you can make that dark or bright. Um, that's pretty much it. You can change the, the brightness of the background here in the arrange window. But other than that, no. And again, this may be too much to ask, but I would love to be able to maybe have a uh, customizable GUI. So you have skins or something of that nature where we could go up and kind of switch the look of this. I know that's a lot of work in terms of changing all the buttons and icons and all that stuff, but I think it would be really cool to give people more of an option of uh, designing how Logic Pro X looks for them. Because when you're looking at a DAW for so long, it is important to have something that's inspiring and that you really appreciate the aesthetic of. All right, y'all, so those are my top five requests for Logic Pro X moving forward. I really would love for this video to be a conversation starter with you all. So if you have some features and things that you want to see added to Logic Pro X in the future, feel free to leave a comment below. Logic Pro X has definitely become my main DAW. They're doing a lot of great things with it. It has improved dramatically over the years and they're also adding a ton of value. I don't think there's any DAW out there that for the price off the shelf includes as much as Logic Pro X does. So hats off to the team over there for what they're doing, but we've always got room to improve. So I wanted to provide this video as a longtime Pro X user, and uh, I'm excited about where we're going. We'll see what they do. Feel free to like, subscribe, and consider sharing, and we'll talk to you soon.